Hi, thanks for watching. In this video, we'll be looking at how to take this Flutter mobile application and get it up and running on Flutter for web. So if you're going to do this on your current production Flutter app, I would definitely suggest putting this in a separate branch because we will be making some changes to our dependencies and the way that Flutter works. So inside of dependencies, inside of pubspec.yaml, we want to get rid of Flutter. So we'll comment that out for now. And instead, we'll add Flutter web. We'll also add Flutter web UI, just like that. Then we'll come down to our dev dependencies and we can even remove the Cupertino icons for now. We don't need that. And inside of our dev dependencies, it will remove a Flutter test. We will replace that with Flutter web test. We'll also add the build runner, the build web compilers and test. If you save the file, this should go up and install the packages from pub. You'll see that at the moment it will fail and that's because we need to get these from GitHub, which will override in a moment. Assets are handled differently in Flutter for web, so you'll need to make sure that they are commented out in this circumstance. For our basic application that we have right here, it will be, so we can just leave that as is. We can now scroll down and add some dependency overrides. So we're gonna add the dependency overrides at the bottom and I'm gonna paste it in. And as you can see here, we are overriding Flutter web, Flutter web UI and Flutter web test. So why are we doing this? Well, that's because the Flutter web, the Flutter web UI and the web test aren't available on the pub library at the moment. So you will have to get that from GitHub. So we'll save that, that will go ahead and we'll get the values now from GitHub. Next up, we have to go inside of our lib folder and inside of main.dart, we want to get rid of anywhere where we're using the package Flutter and instead we want to say package Flutter web. This now pulls it from the web version of Flutter and also any imports of Dart UI need to be changed to the package of Flutter underscore web underscore UI slash UI dot Dart. So anytime you're using Dart UI, switch that to the Flutter web version. Next up right now, we also need to go ahead and create a web folder. So inside of web, we'll create what's known as an index.html. You should be relatively familiar with this if you've ever done any web development. And we'll paste in a standard index file with just an import here to main.dart.js. We can then, inside of the web folder, add a main.dart. And we want to import the package of Flutter Web UI slash UI dot dart. We then also want to import our package and my current application is called flut underscore web. We want the main dot dart from that and we'll refer to that as app. And then inside of our main function, which will make async, we can await on the UI dot web only initialize platform. We'll have to say as UI to our UI dot dart, just like that. And then we can run app.main. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and activate the web dev package. So we'll run flutter pub global activate web dev. This will go ahead and install web dev to your dot SDK. And we should therefore be able to use the web dev runner. If you have any errors with this, you will need to make sure that your path is appropriately up to date and you should see an error inside of the terminal, which tells you exactly what to do. Now let's run web dev serve and we'll add auto restart onto this. With that in mind, we should now be able to see our application up and running on HTTP 127.0.0.1 on port 8080. If we select the fab button, we will see that the item does increment just like that. So that's essentially how we get up and running for Flutter for web. We've took this mobile app and if we change anything about this, for example, increment two, it should automatically update. We will lose the state at this point because of the way that we're starting our application. But if we look at the tooltip, we can see increment two. Now you will see that right now, the material icons is not working. And that's because of the way that Flutter Web currently handles uh, sort of fonts using something called the font manifest. So let's go ahead inside of web assets and create something called font manifest.json. We're then gonna paste in an array with the fonts array containing the material icons font with the family name of material icons. 
you will then need to create a folder inside of assets called fonts and import the material icons regular font. You can get that from the Google website, just simply put into Google, you should be able to find a URL for that. And now you can see that we've added that. And because we have that font manifest inside of the assets folder, we can now see that we have the appropriate working fab button. Once again, if I make any changes to this, such so as change this text to hello world, you can see that it automatically will update on the screen. So that's essentially how we take our Flutter application on the mobile and get it up and running on the web. Thanks a lot for watching. I'd also like to thank anybody that subscribed over on my Patreon. It does help out with editing costs. It does help me create more videos. Until then, if you want to keep updated, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the comments.